Pokemon come out or not of an intro, but I have a very quick video today. It was very quick and straightforward. It was just one recording. I sped it up, and now I'm doing a voiceover. I think this was the quickest editing I ever have done. Um, so this is about 10 minutes, this video. So I want to split this in half. And the first five minutes, we're going to be talking about this build. And in the next five minutes, we're just going to be talking about the new pack that just has been announced. Um... I don't have much to say so far, so we will definitely go more into detail when it is actually out. But so far, I just have some first thoughts, which I'm gonna do in the second part of the video. But first of all, we're gonna talk about uh, what we're actually building. So we are building for the Niala, um, and this is kind of an area that I had to fill. This is an area where I knew it's too big for anything filler. There was also a playground already just, just like down the road from there, so that was not an option. Um, didn't want to do a restaurant there it was just like uh it was too small for a small animal it was too big wait no it was too big for a small animal and too small for a big animal so it was kind of between the tape here and the niala because remember this is the base game zoo so we can only use the base game animals um and i was uh, the entire time i was thinking like i wish i had the alpine ibex it would have been perfect there um I don't know why, but that was always the one that came to mind. So I was so set that set on the fact that I wanted the Alpine Ibex there that it was so hard for me to find a base game animal that I wanted to put there. So now it's the Niala, which I think is a good choice for here. Um, and in the end, like it feels not, it, it felt awkwardly big at first when I started building, but I think when it's done, it doesn't. I think um, also, you know, I was playing around with where I wanted to have this other path go and um like how how far down the road we would have this like uh fork in the road you know so um that was that was a bit tricky i didn't show this in this video because i didn't even record it because i always do this thing where like i do like basic terraforming and paths first so that i know where i want to build like it really really helps me to get my vision straight um and that is a lot of train errors so i never really record that part uh which i think i know and i think people have said it before that would be interesting to see but personally i don't know at what point my ideas kick in like when do i have the idea like when does it start to become the thing that is actually going to be and when is it just like playing around with paths and terrain and like that is very much a like throw to wall see what sticks process for me so sometimes I you know for hours will play with that and do something entirely different later on so it's hard to record that because I don't know you know when will something actually happen that is of any use to anyone uh, or of any interest um, so yeah, I never really record that, but in the end it, it turned out fine. I think this is not like a highlight um, enclosure, but it's also not the animal you would typically go to a zoo for, let's be honest. So I think this is quite nice in this little like in-between area. It's something that you look at, you're like, oh, okay, cool, nice, Niala, so let's, let's keep moving. Um, which was kind of important to me because it's right across the entrance of the bear trail, which is obviously the big highlight here. And uh, I wouldn't want to take away from that because, you know, we've also established like this is a pretty, like the bear trail is a pretty new um, sort of... Uh, animal in there and uh, and not not a new animal a new like attraction to the zoo it's fairly newly built so whatever it was across this i felt like should be something a little bit more like you know like a uh, uh shy <laughs> um but yeah i think it's it's definitely still worth looking at in the end we're also building a small little like seating and um and a, a map um, thing there so we don't build the map but I put in a billboard that is intended to someday hold a map of the zoo so um, that is good uh, off camera like after I was done recording I also built a little thing of like um, <sighs> like an education sign for the Nialis but I didn't show this because it's, it's very straightforward it's just it's it's really just a frame around a billboard so you know, you'll, you'll um, be able to, to understand it from just seeing it in the real-time part, which we're obviously going to do like we always do. Um, but that is basically it on the Nialis. I, I did quite a cheat in the beginning because <laughs> I kind of used the uh, artwork um, enclosure and kind of copied it over and just 
you know, fixed some small things. Um, but, you know, it's attached to it, so I felt like that was fine. You know, we kept it in the same style, so it made sense. Also kind of covered it up with the... Um, with the foliage, and then we also have the backdrop of these like locks, which I absolutely love for this zoo. I think you will see this all the way through, but uh, yeah, <laughs> they're really helpful. So anyway, this is around the five minute mark. And in the last video, I said that in the five minute mark, we will from now on look at baked goods that are animal themed because I don't know why. Um, and so today I picked out, perfect segue, the sloth. These are sloth cupcakes and I love that they're so colorful, so I wanted to show them. Um, like last time, I will link the place that made them. And uh, that's actually just a segue to what we're gonna talk about, which is the new pack. Um, I don't really know what I think of it so far. I think it's, uh, I think the, 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 the scenery looks amazing. I say it often, but I prefer scenery packs. I like a good theme um, and I was not so inspired by, you know, just like the grassland pack to me was very uninspiring and you know like I don't really like the animal packs that much so to me it was good that it was a scenery pack however I do understand that some people say that you know the tropics you know they are so rich in fauna you know you could have made an animal pack and I totally understand that uh, but I'm not mad at it <laughs> um, I you know I would have liked to see the co oh my god I've never said that word in English Koati? Um, which fun fact in German are just called nose bears, um, but they, uh, I would have liked to see them in a tropical pack. I got, I gotta be honest. I didn't really want the red river hog and, uh, I'm so excited about the Naya monitor. I just have to say it. I, I'm not a reptile person at all. Don't know anything about them. Not very interested in them. However, I do really, really like Asian, uh, water monitors because to me, it's like, okay, so I don't know if I've ever said this before. My dad is a really, really big fan of Southeast Asia. So I have been so fortunate and so thankful to my dad that I've been in Southeast Asia a few times. And it's just like, even if you're in a big city, you will see these monitors just like chill and just doing their thing. And they're so iconic and just so funny. There's also this viral video of like a, a monitor going into a 7-Eleven and climbing up a shelf um, and um, I've seen a video of Leaf, uh, the creator uh, of mods and videos on YouTube, very amazing, uh, said that, you know, he hopes that they can climb and I just sign me up for that too because I hope that they climb because they do like to climb um, and I don't know, I'm very excited for them. I wouldn't necessarily wish for them. I didn't expect them. I didn't even think of them but when I saw them in the trailer I was like, oh yes. <laughs> so I'm very excited for them. The Fusa is kind of whatever to me. I don't quite like them. I think they look weird which is so shallow but I don't know. They're just not my vibe but you all know I don't like um, anything monkey. I know it's not a monkey, but anything monkey-ish, not my, my not my thing. So very whatever on that. But um, the sloth, also kind of whatever. I think sloths are kind of overrated. Sorry, I said it. I don't really like sloth. They don't do much because they're sloths, which is fine. They don't have to do much, but it doesn't. You know, it, it, they're not doing it for me. <laughs> So, I don't know. I'm not excited for... I'm, no, 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 no. I'm not, not excited. I think it's good that they added it. I think it was missing and I will be using it. So that is good. I don't have to personally like them to understand that they are useful in the game. But even the people who really, really like monkeys and primates and whatnot, they don't seem too happy with the gibbon. I wouldn't know, personally. But I can also see that I, even as someone who doesn't like them... I would have preferred a smaller, more colorful monkey, you know? Um, but that's just, that's just from me, someone who doesn't really care. But, <laughs> but overall, I think it looks good. The scenery looks great. Um, and I'm excited for the plans. I think the plans will be the secret highlight of this, to be very honest. But also the river hog, I'm, it's, oh. I love pigs. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, so yeah, I think I think overall, good pack. Definitely more excited for this one than for the Grasslands pack. The Grasslands pack, 
was a disappointment disappointment and a half for me like mm, that was not my pack i mean no it was a good pack but not my pack um but yeah so i'm open-minded to this and uh we will see how i like it when i actually look through it i'm excited that it's a scenery pack we will definitely you know go through the pieces like we did with the twilight pack um and yeah that's all i can say so far so i'm excited for it and we will we will look at more once we have more <laughs> so the look we don't have any more time we will see you in the real time part okay so we're here we are i think from this angle specifically it looks so good i don't know why um but yeah let's actually um set ourselves down here and drum. there we go so uh, uh as you can tell i um gotten rid of my guests again and uh yeah so this is the uh, the shared indoor area with the artwork so the, um, I kind of want to close this off maybe to, to just make it for keepers because you kind of have this look right here um, and this uh, you've already seen for the artworks and over here would be the gate into the Niala habitat um, and over there are the beautiful Nialas so um, I don't know why I did that <laughs> okay let's get back down here so um some benches i purposefully wanted to kind of cover up the building a bit because it's not the prettiest um and the people don't really have to see it it's not really the viewpoint that i want them to have but you know benches are also good and needed uh, and the thing that i probably like the most about it is this viewing area i really like that it's kind of like these intertwined logs and stuff it looks really nice um, I quite like it. You have a little bit shaded seating here, which I have to get better with. My uh, visitors are burning in the sun in all my parks. Um, but yeah, look at those beauties. They are so pretty. Yes, you are so pretty. They are really, really pretty. I'm not sure. I think they're overcrowded, but we are not playing with that. So, um... I like it. I think it looks... It, I, I, I'm I not to, you know, pat my own back, but I think that it kind of works that this is like a lush, but also not uh, unrealistically lush habitat. I quite like it. Um, th this feeding ball, I never realized that they're so big, but look at them side by side. Like the Niala and the ball. <laughs> it's gigantic. Um... But I quite like them. Um, so we can go around here. This is, by the way, the entrance and the exit of the bear trail. So we will build some sort of pompous entrance thing here. So, yes, I know you're stuck. But you're also the only people that get to see the Niala. So you have to see, look at it from this side. So we will probably do some more decorating around here. But I don't know what will happen here. So that is that. And then this path will probably lead us down back to there where the um, cheetah is. So we can actually look at it from up top. So you see here, this is the bear trail. And here we have the Nialis. Here's the rest. So, um, yeah. So we're kind of going to make our way around this area for now. So this was where we were last time. This is where we were today. And we're going to make our way around this Um and somewhere down the road, obviously, also finish the bear trail. Um, but that is what we are going to do in the next few few hundred thousand videos on this. Um, but I'm excited for it. And that's basically all I have to say. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the new pack. Um, and I see you in the next video. Bye!